Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to share a folder or a file through Microsoft OneDrive. Now, to share a file through OneDrive, of course, you have to have OneDrive service through Microsoft, and you must have a OneDrive app installed on your computer. Once you have the OneDrive app installed on your computer, you will be able to see a status bar that shows a green check mark whenever a file or a folder you have in your OneDrive folder. And you'll notice up here I have a OneDrive folder, and it's a folder that is shared to OneDrive through the app. And once it's synchronized to the OneDrive folder, you'll get that green check mark. There are other places where you do not have the green check mark, and that means it is not shared. But when you see the green check mark, you can right click on a folder and select share with the blue cloud next to it because that's a Microsoft OneDrive and that will bring up the share plugin folder send link anyone with a link can edit now I don't want to do the folder here I want to do a file so I'm going to close this share dialog box and I'm going to come down here to this file which is an auction upload maintenance guide for an auction site that I just finished building for a client I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to click the share icon right here in the context menu that appears. This again gives me the share dialog box and it says, and this is what comes up by default, anyone with a link can edit. I don't want them to be able to edit it. So I'm going to uncheck the allow editing box and apply that. And now it says anyone with a link can view and that's what I want. Now I could have Microsoft send them the link if I wanted to with my message. But you know what? I don't really like sending other people's email addresses through a big company like Microsoft or Dropbox or anybody else. So instead, I'm going to copy the link. And that brings up this link copy dialog. And I'm going to click right here. And it copies the link. And if I wanted to be double sure, I will click Control C to copy it, which I just did. And now all we have to do is go over to our email program open up a new email and we control V paste and there is the link to that file. Now when somebody receives the email, they click on this link. They do not have to have a OneDrive account. They will be taken to a web page where they can download it. Let me go ahead. I've still got the link copied into my clipboard. Let me go ahead and go to a page on a different browser where I'm not logged in to OneDrive. Now this is the Vivaldi browser, which I use in addition to Firefox and I use Chrome and I use Brave and I sometimes use Edge. I use these browsers for different reasons, mainly because when you log into a website on one browser, you can open up another browser and go to that same website and you're not logged in. So if you are building websites, for example, you can then see what it looks like from the normal non-logged in viewers point of view. But now up here in the address bar, I'm going to control V paste that same link and I'm going to hit the enter key. And that takes me over to a OneDrive upload page where I am not logged in. See up here in the upper right, it says sign in. I don't have to do that. It gives me a view of this page. And if I want to, I can click right here on the download link and it will allow me to download that page and tell me save as, which means I can put it in the location. And that's not what I want to do because I already have it, but that just goes to show you what you can do. I hope this short tutorial has been helpful and that you now know how to share folders or files using Microsoft OneDrive. Give us a great big old thumbs up if you thought it was helpful. Now we'll let the YouTube robots know that they can recommend this video to other people looking for this very same thing. And if you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and then the bell icon and YouTube will notify you whenever we post another great tutorial right here on David's Tutorials. Thank you.